<laughs> hey, are you looking for the very best photo editing apps for your iPhone? Truth of the matter, there are all types of great apps that you can use to create tremendous digital media with nothing more than your iPhone. And that's why I created this playlist here on YouTube. This playlist covers the very best apps and I'll link to a few of the videos you might be interested in, like Word Swag, Typorama, or possibly Over. Now these are all great photo editing apps and really they allow you to overlay text on your photos to create great digital media. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you how you can use an app named Avery. Now what's great about Avery is it allows you to do a whole lot more than just text overlays. Step number one, install the app. Step number two, put on protective headwear. Step number three, Take over the world. <laughs> All right, so let's jump in. Um, I'm gonna access my folder, Meme Studio, and inside you'll see some of the videos we've done already. The Over app, Word Swag, and Typorama. Now these are tremendous apps and I've linked to those in the cards. You might wanna check those out after we go through and do this tutorial on Avery. So I'll open up the app now and the first thing you'll notice is you're uh, given uh, a bunch of the most recent photos that you've taken on your phone or your iPad and you can see some of them that I've created uh, just today. I, I, I use these apps all the time and it's really powerful in my marketing. At the bottom, you're able to access your camera roll. That's what this uh, icon here, and to the right of that is another icon that allows you to take a photo and then use that photo and edit it inside of the Avery app. In this case, we're gonna select the camera roll and the albums, and I'm gonna scroll down to uh, Sand Dunes 2014. This is an album that I created uh, in about an hour at the Sand Dunes here in Colorado with my iPhone. So no fancy phone, uh, rather just uh, a simple uh, iPhone and a little bit of time and having some fun and you can do the same. Now I want to create an image specifically for video. So in, in this uh, e example in this tutorial I'm going to walk through some of the options that you have and I'm going to share with you what I do when I'm creating thumbnails for my videos on YouTube or when I'm creating um, uh, images specifically for video and again they would want to be uh, scaled with a resolution of 16 by 9. So first notice we have a number of different options at the bottom like enhance, effects, crop, lighting, color, sharpness, text, etc. And we have an awful lot. And that's what I really like about this particular app. It's so full featured. I'll mention you can um, buy additional packs which extend the functionality of this app. Let's first go in and let's just click uh, enhance. Let's click on high def and let's see what that looks like. Um, do I really see anything different? Uh, maybe a teeny bit. Um, I'm gonna keep it the way it is. How about scenery? Um, that's a little too much, but let's click it again. And, and it's, these are just really kind of like uh, you either want it or you don't. There's not a lot of, of options. So I'm going to click cancel, and we're left with the original photo. Nothing has been done. Next, I'm going to click effects. And notice we've got a number of different effects we can use I use these a lot, and for this particular one, I'm, I'm looking for something that's gonna enhance the natural beauty. So I'm gonna select Cruise at the far right. And this is this pretty good, really. Um, it's a little strong. If I want to uh, dial that in a little bit more and, 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 and soften it up, I can just click that again, and I'll simply just pull it down to about 65%. And that really looks pretty good, so I'm gonna select the check mark and now I've up applied an effect. Um, I'm gonna select apply. And now what I have is the photo with the apply, uh, the effect rather applied. 
Next, I'm going to look at the lighting. I can come in, I can uh, dial the brightness down, which makes the sky a little darker blue. I can overexpose, and I'm going to pull this in just a bit, and I'm going to um, next select the contrast, and I can kind of see like what the contrast is like. I'm just going to pump up the contrast a bit. I'm going to select Apply. Looking pretty darn good. Now, you really don't want to hit that Save button until you've got all the edits finalized, then you can go in and you can select save, and then it will be saved to your photo roll. If you click save, you're kind of done. So I'll wait to do that at the end. Next, I wanna uh, select crop, and notice I can crop any size I want, or I can uh, select square or four by three, and to the far right, I have 16 by nine, which is awesome, because like I said, I'm gonna use this like I would be creating a thumbnail for a video, possibly for YouTube. And that looks pretty good, so I'm gonna click Apply, and we'll uh, click on, uh, do I wanna save it? Well, let's see what else we can do. There's a few others I wanna share with you. Actually, you know what would make this look really nice, especially if I'm creating a thumbnail, is a frame. I really like frames because they, well, they frame the picture. They add kind of like a context to uh, images, and I like really simple frames. If I'm using something that's outdoors and it's bright, I almost always go with Luma, which is this white frame right here. I'm gonna select that, I'm gonna hit Apply, and now you can see we're, we're really creating a nice basic uh, 16 by nine image that's suitable to add text. Now I can do that, I can select text and I can type that in. I'm gonna select cancel. And there you have it, I, I clicked save. Sometimes this app, it just does that, it gets stuck. Now what I can do is I can just select it again and I can, and I can carry on with the process. Now a few other things I might wanna do, I might wanna add a sticker. Let's go into original and see what we have. Packed, downloaded, so we've got uh, kind of some cool like things here, something like this. Uh, I'm gonna exit out of that. We have beauty, um, eyebrows, stickers, uh, skull and crossbones. So we have a number of different things. Truth is pretty cool. Um, it's pretty good. Let's get out, let's get to cancel. Uh, how about signature? Looks like they were just downloaded. Now you'll notice I've got a bunch of uh, options here. I like these arrows. Sometimes I use these arrows when I want to create a screen capture and I wanna draw attention to some type of a result. So anytime you wanna draw attention, these stickers are pretty uh, awesome. I'm gonna select cancel again and cancel. Um, so I could create a meme and if I want, you can see at the bottom, we have uh, an option to enter text on the top or text on the bottom. I'll click cancel. And really what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna direct you now to checking out possibly Typorama. It's a great app that allows you to add text and it does a better job than uh, what we have here. So we'll check out that app next and imagine adding some really cool text overlays that um, would look really great in this image for a YouTube thumbnail. In fact, I'm gonna click cancel and I'm just gonna share with you some of what I do and you'll notice Actually, let's go into photo stream. And this is something I made this morning with a simple uh, a screen capture. So first I came in and I added my splat and my logo. Then I used uh, Typorama and I used this great styling. So hit that video next and you'll learn how to use that. So I was able to add that typography to my image. Now, if you haven't subscribed, to Brian G. Johnson TV here at YouTube. Do that now. I release new videos on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and sometimes Fridays. Would love to have you as a subscriber. 
Have you used these types of apps in your marketing? Are apps uh, something that you want to learn more about? If you've got a question for me, if you'd like me to cover a specific type of app, leave it in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Brian G. Johnson, and we'll see you on the next video. You ready? Poof! Pixie dust.